Hey guys, so really quickly, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys what the hair looks like installed on me. Now today I did decide to curl the hair. I did one side good and the other side, I was just like, whatever. But um, the hair, I like this texture. It matches really well with my natural hair. This is my hair that's left out here. It blends perfect. This is my first time making like, um, a U part wig and not like a quick weave. I will update you guys on how it holds a curl or how the curl holds. Um, but I really like this hair. I will be sure to update you guys on this in a few weeks. I've only been wearing this hair for like three days, so I can't really say if it's good or if it's not good. But so far, I like it. Um, it took a curl. Um, I'll make a separate video to show you guys how I did the curls or what's best for getting a curl for this type of hair. This isn't human hair or virgin hair. This is a human hair blend, which means it's more synthetic than it is human, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I think this is great for a person who conveniently wants their hair done, does not want to spend hundreds of dollars to get a sew-in or hundreds of dollars to get um, some bundles because I know that's expensive. I do it all the time. But um, with the simple fact that you just like changing your hair so much, this is a great affordable option for that. So I'll leave all the information down in the video below. Um, I hope you guys like enjoyed the small little clips that I did put in of me making the video. I did not have enough patience to actually sit and um, record the whole making of the video. I did not show you guys how I put my clips on, but I'm pretty sure if you just search on YouTube um, how to sew clips onto your wig, you guys will be able to find that. In fact, I will go ahead and put links to videos of that down below so you guys can see for yourself. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and you like this hair and you're thinking about getting it, let me know down in the comment section below and I would love to answer any questions for you if you guys have any questions for this hair as the time goes along before I make an update video. Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, the hair I'm using is by Model Model or Model Model. And this is the blowout texture and it comes with an 18, 16, and a 14 inch plus a closure included, which I won't be using since this will be a U-part wig. So I'm going to be taking a uh, mannequin head and I put some duct tape around it plus a bag because I got both the hair and the mannequin head from my local beauty supply store. And these tend to be a little bit small so to make it bigger and to fit like the size of a human head you just need to add some extra layers to it for it to fit and then I'm taking my um, spandex dome cap and I'm just centering it on the mannequin head So I've already laid a few tracks already. The method I'm using is the hot glue gun method. And basically what I did was put one track all the way around until I got to the part where my leave out will be. And then I just go from ear to ear almost um, for each track. So I will be cutting um, the weft. And then I just do this until I get all the way to the top and um, it starts to form like this U shape. And um, that's where, where you will have your leave out as well as um, sew your clips down. Another thing I want to advise is it's better if you glue to the cap before putting the track down. I was doing it the opposite way. I glued, I put the glue on the weft and then pressed it on to the mannequin head. It did not stay that way. So I advise putting the glue on the cap first and then laying the track on the glue um, where you place it on the um, spandex dome cap. That holds a lot better. Later in the video you guys will see that some of the tracks started to fall and I had to go back in and re-glue those pieces. Alright, 
right, so as you guys can see, I'm all done, and I've shown you where I place four clips, two on each side, because I don't want to sew this down to my hair. But I'm going to show you guys how I layer my hair. I'm no professional, but this is how I do it, and it works for me. Um, I'm going to be taking some hair scissors shears, and I'm going to take one section, and I'm just going to cut going downward. And then um, I'm also going to show you guys how I do this with a razor comb if you feel like you cannot do this with... Um, Hair shears um, so basically I'm just taking each section and starting from where my last layer stop I just cut going in a diagonal area going all the way down to the end of the hair and then I go back into my hair with the hair shears and I just clean it up and perfect it and then I'm also gonna um, cut the ends of the hair so as the video speeds along, you guys really won't see this, but what I'll be doing is I'll go back in and I'll cut the opposite side of that one piece um, where I did the layers. I don't know if that makes sense by saying it, but I'll link a good layering video down below for you guys to see. So after making sure that my hair was pretty much even, I'm just going to go in and straighten my leave out and cover up the tracks. Um, some tips that I can give is to make sure that you either go back in with a black marker or black makeup and cover up the white um, glue that dried from the glue sticks or you can basically just peel it off but be careful because you don't want to pull the glue from off the track and then the hair just falls completely off. Um, uh, another thing is this hair is great for natural hair like I said I've only been wearing it for a few days but I absolutely love it so far um, the curl that I originally put at the beginning of my video lasted a few days and that's also good um, but if you guys have any questions whatsoever in regards to this hair leave it down below and I will be so happy to answer your questions about this hair I think this is a great alternative for people who don't want to spend a lot of money on um, getting a weave or getting a sew in or whatever the case may be and I'll be sure to make an update video for you guys in regards to this hair so I'll see you guys next time